Hey, what's up everyone? Robin Corinne here. Welcome to Threadheads. So last week was fashion week here in the NYC and Threadbanger was there to get the skinny on this season's ready to wear collections. What do I love about it? Yeah. Um, the models. <laughs> I like the idea of having very stylish, like very uh, stylish looks, and then also looks that you can just go day to day if you have to you know, run to the market or do something like that, you know? Alright, so it's really cool to see how the pros do it and to see how the whole thing works, but honestly, you didn't miss much except a bunch of black and a crap load of fur. I mean, when did it become cool to wear fur again? Whoa, 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 back up tape. Did you see those people? They look like a pack of wild zebras. Yeah, so we felt kind of out of place inside the tents, but we were right at home at New York Couture's official Fashion Week event. And she keeps it pretty real with her colorful and edgy DIY style. This is Cassie Kay from New York Couture, and you're at my Fashion Week show party at Rebel. When we return, we get a sweet Fashion Week lesson from Panda Heads Morgan Hungerford. Stick around. What's up, Third Bangers? My name is Katie. I saw this other video that you guys did about the spray paint um, tie-dye thing. I thought that was really cool. And so I tried it out and I combined it with that striped shirt idea and I made one for my brother. He and you guys got me started on this whole DIY thing. And you guys have me like sewing everything now. You guys are like manipulating minds. All right, so last week, the Southern Belle wrote in, Fashion Week, rock on. Please tell me you'll do a tutorial on how to knock off designer designs. Well, if you haven't been checking the Threadbanger blog on a regular basis, now's the time to start doing so. Morgan Hungerford is one of our awesome guest contributors, and her latest blog talks about the trends of last week's Fashion Week and gives a quick tutorial on how to get that runway look. This is a great little tube, but we wanted to modify it to use old slacks instead of felt. First turn the pants inside out, pin the two layers of a leg together, and cut out a long rectangle that's bigger at one end. Repeat with the other leg, then sew a seam around the entire perimeter of each rectangle. Leave a small gap and turn them both right side out. Sew a top seam all the way around each rectangle and close up your gaps. Slightly overlap the two wider ends and pin. Now make small pleats like so, all the way down one side. 
Turn it to the other side and pleat the second half, making sure to fold both ends under. Sew the pleats together starting at one end and stopping in the middle. Go with the pleats, not against. Then sew the other half the same way. Next, take out some inch wide elastic, fit it around your neck, under your arms, connecting it in the back. Then pin the middle of the elastic to the middle of the garment. What you're going to do is stretch the elastic as you sew it on so the ruffles will scrunch up more. Start in the middle and work your way to one end. Repeat to the other half. Now sew down both sides of the elastic, again stretching as you sew. Then overlap the ends of the elastic and sew it together in a rectangular motion. Add a haphazard stitch in the middle and at the ends, and you are styling. You can wear it like nature intended, or switch it up for a more Elizabethan look. For more cool stuff from Morgan, make sure you keep checking back right here on Threadbanger or her blog, pandahead.blogspot.com. Next week, we answer a viewer transmission and give a DIY lesson in appliques and iron-ons. Got anything cool you've done with them? Send us some pics and some videos. We'll put them on next week's episode. Until then, see ya. 